Now, you guys ready to get going? I love this next couple. The reason that I love this couple, not only are they cute and funny and cute, but they've got this southern charm. You know, I think one of the things that I'm missing in my life is like a really, really cool accent. You know, like from the south. Because everybody likes people from the south. But what I love, I love a lot of things about Sue, but what I love about Dennis... Does that mean you want me to talk about Sue some more? Um, what I, uh, oh, and we're going to have those little Vima films. I won't set them up every time. We're just going to fade to black and we'll show them. We're going to sprinkle them from leadership all over this world throughout this weekend event. So just kind of soak it up. But what I love about Dennis is he comes from a traditional business background. And, and he had to really accelerate his learning curve to, to pick up on this network marketing business concept. And he has mastered it. You know, they, are, they have such a phenomenal team in, in uh, Virginia Beach. That uh, they actually opened up their own Verve Central. And here, you know, when we did... When, <laughs> this is the longest introduction of my entire life. Um, you know, we, we opened up a Verve Central in Arizona. And that was actually Alex Morton's idea. Because the police had been called too many times to his house because he, they thought he was having parties and it was just these, these Verve events. And so he's like, dude, we need a place to meet. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I've got this building that's in Tempe that, that we don't use. Let's just convert that. And so and he's like, oh, dude, I can get $5 chairs. I got, this, I got this connection. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I spend like millions of dollars to create the Verve brand. And I'm going to let Alex put $5 chairs in there? I said, dude, we will handle it. Don't worry about it. And we opened up Verve Central. Dennis and Sue came down. They were so impressed with it that they opened up their own Verve Central. But they like took it to a whole other level. Now, what I want you guys to know is that Dennis and I are really kind of competitive. And so we have closed down the original Verve Central in, in Tempe. And we are signing a lease on a brand new Verve Central that will be the sickest Verve Central. It will absolutely... You know, because I go into the Verve Central opening in Virginia Beach and he's got like marble in the bathroom. I'm like, dude, how do, you, how do I compete with this? So we're going to compete with that here really shortly as we... Get ready. So we'll be opening up new Verve Central. Hey, guys, help me welcome to the stage my good friends, Dennis and Sue Ligon. Are, 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 are you ready? Dennis and Sue Lagan, New Star Ambassadors. All right, thank you, BK. That was awesome, and that was an incredible video of Alex, and um, we're real excited to see all the other videos. This is a surreal moment for me um, because it was January of 2009 that I was sitting in the back row at VEMA convention, my very first convention, so four years ago. And to be on stage today and to be having fast-forwarded that four years of all the amazing things that have happened in my life. And number one, being married to Dennis, <laughs> who is the most caring and giving and inspiring man uh, and partner. And um, to be able to, you know, they talk about money a lot with Vima, and it's very important, but it's, it's really what you do with that money. And for us to be able to, for me to be able to give to my church more in the past year than I was living off of four years ago is incredible. Yeah. Also, to be able to take my kids and 15 people on a family trip last summer where Dennis and I paid for it to Alaska where we had everybody on dog sleds on a glacier. It was just amazing and these incredible experiences that we've been having are just phenomenal. 
Um, so I just want to say that there are people out there tonight that April 4th is going to be a life-changing day for you, just like January of 2009 was for me. So for many of you, this is going to be your life-changing weekend, like it was for me, and I am just blown away of what's going to be taking place this next year. So I want to turn this over to Dennis, who uh, is the speaker in my family, in our family. And I, oh, I also wanted to say that the real reason why we opened Verve Central it's because we kept running out of Verve at home. <laughs> and so Dennis wanted an unlimited supply of sugar-free Verve. <laughs> so Dennis, you take it over. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Sue. Um, I apologize if I sound kind of crazy tonight because of the laryngitis, but um, Sue was the greatest thing that ever come in my life. And I met her through Vima, so if I never cycled one time, it would all be worth it, of course. <laughs> Having to. Um, but, she is, <clears throat> but she is telling the truth about Verve. Um, I was figuring out, I've been in this business about four and a half years, and I drink 10 Verves a day. Um, some days more, but at least 10. And um, so you figure it out, I've drank, I've drank 1,600 verbs, or 16,000, excuse me, 16,000 verbs. Put that in um, Vima speak, that's 75 cycles. <laughs> so I'm sort of like a country song, I drank my way to diamond, uh, or platinum, excuse me. But you know, uh, verb is a, you know, a powerful antioxidant and it fights aging. So tonight I have my 19-year-old son here, but I feel like his little brother. So I definitely feel like I'm in the YPR now after 16,000 of these. So, uh, <clears throat> but I will say, feeling like you're in the YPR and being in the YPR is a little bit different. My running mate through my business is my closest friend, Travis Tilson. And, uh, <clears throat> and we have, um, when we have our events at Verve Central, uh, he's a speaker there, and he gets jacked up and fired up, <clears throat> and we've watched maybe one too many Alex Morton videos, and uh, we love the part where he says, I can't believe you work a job, where they tell you where to eat, when you get to take vacation, when you get to pee. And I remember <clears throat> Travis one night fired up, giving his presentation, he goes, you know, I pee when I want to. <clears throat> <clears throat> and, and you see the people in the front row kind of scoot their seats back a little bit like, and, uh, and with Sue, I learned this the hard way. Uh, when I spoke in Charlotte recently, I told him about the magical nights when Sue has the candles lit by the bed. <coughs> and uh, well, anyway, what I learned from being a YPR that doesn't work is when you have one of those magical nights and you've completed one of those magical nights, <coughs> Sue still likes to be held she doesn't want you jumping up on the bed going, rack them. <laughs> um, <coughs> now, I can say that. Now, she knows I make fun. I can say that, though, because there's many nights I've come home and she'll go, oh, look at this new video Luke's got or Alex has got. And it's like video after video after video. And she's showing them to my daughter. And I'm like, well, hold on a second. You know, I made a message of the month a couple years ago. Let's, y'all need to listen to that. <clears throat> and I can't find the thing. And finally, I find it in the car. We were leaving Charlotte that time of the event because there was ice on the windshield. I said, you don't have a scraper. And she says, well, I usually use this. <laughs> My message of the month. But um, I did want to say, though, <clears throat> for the YPR here, it has been exciting to see a room go from 3,000 to 6,000, and you have to ask yourself, what's happening? I know I made a joke in Charlotte about a guy on my team is in his 50s. He said, if I could just find myself an 18-year-old boy. And I'm like... <laughs> <clears throat> Not legal in most states. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, but the key was, 
How have they been able to do so much so fast? And trust me, I've seen how hard they work. Incredible work ethic. And in, in following directions, being very coachable, and what Brad has done, and Alex, and Luke, and Jeff, and so many. Richard, and I met Josh Noble the other night, and Andrew, and some of these guys got to hang out with Luke Kish. Amazing people. But what I feel like the difference is, you've heard of traveling at the speed of sound, traveling at the speed of light. <clears throat> they travel at the speed of belief. They don't come into this business with fear and faith. They come in with faith. <clears throat> it's not a question of if we're going to do this thing, it's when we're going to do this thing, and we're going to do it now. And they take action, and they start building leaders from square one. I mean, they, they find a purpose, and they go out and change lives. And you know, a lot of people talk about money, and it is great about making incredible incomes. But I've read some incredible stories and some incredible whys by some of these young people what they want to do and achieve. And it's really motivated our team. I've got some amazing new friendships that I've met with people like Joey and all the people on my team <clears throat> from Atlanta, from Green Bay. And I'm so proud of Jeff Blackman being up here in the black chairs, him and Michelle. And to go from the back to the front in one year. And it's just exciting to see all those changes. But you know, what I'm most excited about, of course, is my blonde bonus, Sue, that I met through this business. <clears throat> Saturday night. <clears throat> Saturday night, a big moment of me will be to see my son walk the stage as a diamond leader. <clears throat> to, <clears throat> to know his close friends, Cameron, Najee, all these guys, Dustin, Alice, all these guys used to play football and so forth, now all in this room. Letting, studying this business and seeing the changes. But no matter what you're going through, let me tell you about one special moment that happened to me. You know, there's a, about two weeks, my second week in this business when I was just starting, and even though I had had success in traditional business, <clears throat> I didn't really know anything about this business. And the second week, I ran into a couple no's, and I had this guy come to a home meeting, was going to enroll him, and I showed up at Blockbuster the next day to do the paperwork. And when I went in there, as I was talking to him, the manager of Blockbuster talked him out of it. And his words were, that's not a real business. And the guy said no. <clears throat> and you know, for many years, if you were given directions in Virginia Beach, you could say, if you want to go to Birchwood Center, all you do is take a right at the Blockbuster. You can't say that anymore because there's no Blockbuster there. Because it's not a real business. But I tell you what is there, what is there is an unreal business called Verve Central in that same building. And I, and I, want, I, want, to close, I want to close with this. You know, there's a great quote that, you know, when you're out there in the battle, and for all of you people here, young, old, whatever, when you're out there in that battle, in this business, to build your dream, you are going to taste victory. You are going to taste defeat. But thank God you're not one of those timid souls on the sidelines just watching the action happen. Don't, don't let anybody steal your dream. Remember tonight, I mean, just really soak it in tonight, how lives change. Because, you know, Brad, when he talked today, five years in his business, and then he met Alex. He had a lot of great success up till then, but then that just catapulted him. We're all one person away. I know I was one person away from changing my life. And I know each one of you here tonight, you're here because you dream, you build something. And I trust you, promise you, if you give up on this dream, you'll regret it the rest of your life. Because you were not put here on earth God is my witness. You were not put here on earth to work for an hourly wage. When you leave here this weekend, remember one thing, if, I, if you remember anything I say. You are God's greatest creation. You were destined to win. And let's start winning right now. Thank you all very much.